Let's sort this array together with a bubble sort. This has a worst case time complexity of big O of n squared and sorts the array in place using only constant extra space. We're going to repeat the following process until the list is sorted, i.e. no more swaps are detected. We can use a boolean called swap to keep track of this, initialize to false. Initialize p1 to be index 0. If the element at p1 is greater than the element next to it at index p1 plus 1, swap the two elements. In this case, 5 is greater than the element after it, 3, so swap them. Set swap equal to true to signify the list changed. And increment p1. Again, 5 is greater than the element after it, 0, so swap the two elements. Increment p1. 5 is not greater than the element after it this time, 9, so don't swap them. Increment p1. 9 is greater than the element after it, 6, so swap them. 9 is greater than 4, so swap them. And so on, until p1 reaches the second to last element of the array. Since swapped is true, we need another iteration. Reset swap to false and p1 to index 0. And repeat the process. If the element at p1 is greater than the element next to it and index p1 plus 1, swap the two elements and set swap to true. In this case, 3 is greater than 0, so swap them, and set swap to true. 3 is not greater than 5, so don't swap them. 5 is not greater than 6, so don't swap them. 6 is greater than 4, so swap them. Over time, this essentially causes the larger elements to bubble their way up the list to their correct positions. We end after the iteration where swapped remains false, as this means no more swaps were detected in that iteration, so the list is sorted.